Hello everyone and welcome back to our Kung Fu class where we've been learning the square basics and we are on our square basic number seven. Let's do a little warm up to begin with um, and then we'll go straight into relearning, recapping and relearning this part. Okay, so let's start by warming up our wrist and our ankle. Hopefully you guys at home have done a, a warm up to begin with and make sure that your body's nice and warm. Maybe some push ups or sit ups and some high knee running just to get your body nice and warm. <clears throat> okay, and stretch up. Really stretch up. Okay, and then stretch down to the floor. So from this one, try to keep the backs of your legs straight. Lock your knees out. Okay, good, and reach over to one side. And from here, I want you to try and get your head to touch your, your shin, yeah. Okay, good, and then walk your hands around to the other side. And again, reach down, try and touch your shin. And then back to the center, and then up. Okay, good, from here, swing your arms forward. Just relax your shoulder joint. Okay, and swing backwards. And one forward, one back. And change. Okay, very good. Let's warm up our hip. So circle your hip around. Big circle. Okay, and change. And your knees. So this time we're just warming up all of our joints. Make sure your joints are nice and warm. Okay, and change. Okay. Okay, and then from here, you're gonna stretch down into your pubu position. So, which is your low stance. So you're gonna bend your knee on one side and keep the other leg completely straight. So from here, try to put your hand on the inside of your foot if you can. And then you're gonna reach over and grab your foot on the opposite side. <clears throat> Try to keep your foot flat on the floor. So this foot here, try to keep it flat on the floor. And then reach forward. Okay, and then if you can, you're gonna try and reach over with the other hand. See if you can grab your foot with the other side. Okay, very good. Okay, from here, change to the other side. Okay, sink your hip down. Don't worry, if you can't get your feet, your feet flat on the floor to begin with, then this just takes some practice. So sometimes when you've been sitting at a desk for a long time, your Achilles becomes really short, the tendons become short on the back of your leg. So <clears throat> this takes some time for you to stretch. Okay, so reach over. So this one, if you, if you can't reach over, that's fine, you can just put your hand here or you can put it on your leg. Yeah, if you can reach over, that's really good. So try to aim to reach over. And then obviously you can reach over with two hands and try and reach over. Stretch your body. Okay, good. Okay, stand up. Okay, relax your legs. Okay, let's do a gumbu stretch, so a bow and arrow stretch. So from here, you're gonna bend your front knee and keep your back leg straight. Okay, and then you're just gonna push your hip down. We're gonna push down for five times. Okay, ready? And go one, two, three, four, Five, and change the other side. Okay, and push your hip down, go one, two, three, four, five, and one more time, change the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and then again, change. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. So um, when we were practicing this movement last time, we were doing one kick. So the kick that we were doing here, which is in this square basic, is called a tantwe. So I just want us to practice that movement together, just to also to warm up um, and get a feel for the movement before we go on to practicing um, the square basic seven. So for a tantwe, um, it's called a flick kick. So I'm gonna show you the movement, uh, and then we're gonna break it down for you, and you can learn it step by step. Okay, so this is a tantwe. So 
So a tatoué is like a flick. So what you're going to do is you're going to stamp your feet together, so just to prepare, and then you're going to stamp your right foot and then point your left. Yes, this is kind of like a preparation, yeah? So stamp and then point. So I'm not worrying about my hands for now, I just put my hands behind my back. And then from here, you're going to raise your knee up. Yeah, try to get your knee as high as you can. And then from here, your toe is pointing downwards. And you're going to stretch your leg out in front of you until your leg is straight and then bring it back again. Okay, and then you're going to step forward onto the leg that you just had raised. And then raise your knee up with your toe pointing down. And then you're going to stretch your leg out in front of you again. And then back. And then down. Okay? So we just do that a couple of times. So, your bait means begin. And then from here, you're going to raise your knee up, stretch out that foot, and then back. Okay, and then change to the other side. And then from here, raise your knee up, point your toe down, stretch out your foot, and then down. Okay, and then again, so up, stretch, back, and then up, and then stretch out and back. Okay, so when we're practicing Tan Tue, you're just going to keep your fists at the side of your body with your elbows back, yeah, like this. And this time when you kick, <clears throat> this time when you kick, you just want to keep your leg straight out and put the power at the end of your foot. So you're aiming to get the power right here. So that means that when you, when you flick forward, you really need to really stretch and point your toe forward as you kick. Yeah, so let's try this movement together. Okay, for this tan twain, just put your hands here and um, we'll do it five times. Okay, ready? And you bet. So, one, bring your knee back. Two, three, four, five. And stop. Ha! Okay, good. So in this square basic seven, <clears throat> you're gonna have to do your tan tue at a slightly different angle. So when we're practicing our tan tue now for the basics, you're just, you have your body and your hips facing forward. But when we do it in the square basic, your body is just gonna be slightly to the side. Yes, this opening, this fan jang movement is gonna be to the side and then your foot needs to go diagonally across your body. I don't know whether that's difficult to see on the camera, but yeah, so you're, Basically, your hands are going one way, your body's twisting, but your hips are twisting back in the, in the opposite direction. So if we were doing it straight on, our, our hips would be going this way, yeah, for our tan toy. But actually, when we do it in this form, your hips will be facing forward, but your leg will be facing the opposite, be facing across your body. So that makes it just slightly different when you're practicing it in your square basic routine. <clears throat> okay, very good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna recap the movement. I'm just gonna go through it step by step again, just very briefly. If you want to see the movement again, then go back to the previous video and I break it down really detailed step by step. But for now, I'm just gonna show you the movement again. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to move it around in that square position, okay? So when we finished off, we, didn't, we were doing our back sweep and we were doing our wood on panda and we ended up in this position. Okay, so from here, to start this square basic, you're going to step with your left leg, yeah? So your left leg is going to step out to the side into the marbu position, yeah? So you're stepping from a gumbu into marbu, yeah? Marbu is your horse riding stance where your feet are facing forward and your gumbu is the same as when we warmed up, is it the foot, the knee is bent 90 degrees and your back leg straight. Okay, so from here, you're going to step forward, marbu. Then from this position, you're chopping down in front of you. You're going to turn your foot to face the direction you're going in, and you're going to bring your feet together and then uppercut. Yeah, this is like a, a gold way, yeah, going forward. So from marbu, you turn your foot and you bring your foot to bingbu. Yeah, your feet are together, parallel together, and you're squatting down with your back straight. So from here, marbu, step forward, turn your foot out, step to bingbu. Okay, and at the same time, you're going to do an uppercut, yeah, uppercut. 
And then from here, you're going to stand up and you're going to open your palm outwards. Yeah, so your palm is parallel. Yeah, and your, your hands are in a jung position. So from here, I'm just going to turn around so you can see me in this direction. Yeah. So from here, your hands are going to open. And at the same time, you're going to do that flick kick that I showed you at the beginning. So you're going to raise your knee up, you're going to flick kick out. Yeah? So your legs should be kind of parallel, your arms parallel, and your body twisted. So it feels slightly uncomfortable, but not as if you're doing it forward. Yeah, your body twists one way, and then your, the upper half of your body, the bottom half of your body remains going forward, whilst the top half is twisting open. So from here, you're gonna go one, and then from this position, you're gonna jump into pubu. So from here, you're gonna go up, pubu, onto the floor. Yeah, so your feet flat on the floor and your hands going down flat on the floor. And then from here, you remember from last time, you're gonna do your Juan Ti Wulong Panda, and then you hook. Yeah, so your legs are straight, and you're hooking up with your, with your right foot. Yes, yeah, so your legs are completely straight, okay? So from this pubu position, from here, down, stand up, and then hook. And then this one, your fist is coming up like this, your body's straight, and you're slightly, slightly leaning towards your fist, sort of in this direction here. Okay? So again, from here, from there, you're gonna go one. Okay, then obviously from this position, we need to then do the movement again, going in the same direction. So then you have to do it again, but on the opposite side. So from here, then you're gonna step out to Mabu, Gold Hui, here, jump into Pabu, round, hook up. Yeah? So your leg is hooked up. So once you've done the two movements, so one coming forward on one side and then you've changed to the other side, then you have to change direction and you have to start going around in the, in the square position. So let's just say that we finished the first movement. Let's just go through the first set again, and then I'm gonna show you how to move around, okay? Let's just do that again one more time, okay? So from here, so slowly, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? So you should be finished off with your left foot up and your left fist, um, your left fist up and the other one underneath like this. It's like in this position. Yep. So from here, how do you move around in a square? So what you just need to remember is whatever position that you land in on your second go, you will always step to the left. So you'll always step behind you. So from here, I will step backwards behind me with my left foot into Marbu and then block down from here. Block, turn my foot, uppercut. And then from here, you just carry on with your movement. You just carry on doing your movement. So <clears throat> if I start again from this position, yeah, so from here, then I will go one, Three, four, then again, one, two, three, four, yeah? So that's the second edge of my square done. So from here, all I need to do is I need to think, right, I need to go backwards behind me. And I'm always gonna move the leg that's the hooked up leg is always the one that's gonna move backwards. Yeah, so this is hooked, my fist. Then from here, I step backwards into Marbu, block down. Into, turn my foot, uppercut, fan jiao, Marbu. Yeah, and then again, we do it a second time. So here, uppercut, fan jiao, Marbu. 
So, what direction, if I'm facing this way, then the direction I need to go in, that's right, is behind me. So from here, I repeat the last, this is the last two sets. So from here, one, two, three, four. Then again, one, two, three, four. So this is how, this is how we move around in that square basic. So your last positioning, you should end up with your back facing the way you're going, yeah? With your left foot. So always your left foot will be hooked up, yeah, from this position and your legs, your legs straight in this position and slightly sort of leaning towards the left. Yeah, so your legs straight. Okay, good. So these are the kind of basics to help you to remember this square basic number seven. And I think now we just need to practice it again. Um, this one's a little bit tricky because it's, uh, you have to be able to coordinate your body, be able to do it on left and right. So it does take a little bit of time to be able to get the movement correct. But the more you practice, the easier it's gonna get. Okay, so for now, we're gonna practice again. We're gonna go round in that square um, and then hopefully you can copy me and we can do it together. And I do it slowly so you pick it up step by step. Okay, so from our last position, I just need it over here, from this gombu position. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, then again, change direction. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Going backwards. One, two, three. Go. Last set. Last one. Okay, so this, uh, this is your square basic, square basic number seven. Okay, good, so relax your legs. So you can imagine when you really use power with this movement, it can be, uh, it can be quite a powerful quite a powerful movement. And this movement is at the beginning of the form, uh, contemporary form, contemporary Shaolin form called the Guiding Tren. So it's a really great, great basic for you guys to learn. And eventually it's gonna help you later on when you're learning your other forms. So good, okay, so relax your legs. <clears throat> If um, you're practicing at home and you'd like to know more information about the movements, please just send us a message, let us know how you're getting on. And if there's anything else that you'd like to learn from the movement, you can even send your videos into us as well. So it's really good to see how you guys are getting on. Okay, so let's just do a little warm down. Next week, obviously, next time we're together, we're gonna learn the last square basic, which is our square basic eight. Okay, good, so let's just relax and let your hands <clears throat> hit your body. Okay, and then let your hands hit the back of your neck. So this is a kind of a, like a Qigong exercise just to help you relax, calm down your body, relax your body, your muscles. Okay, and then again, Twist in your waist, let your arms relax. <clears throat> okay, relax. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take three deep breaths. So just make sure when you're standing, your feet are facing parallel and you can really feel the ground with your feet. So your weight is sinking down into the ground. 
And then from here, as you breathe in, you're gonna turn your palms over and you're gonna breathe in. And when you get to the top, you're gonna to hold your breath and then you're gonna breathe out and you're gonna relax. As you breathe out, you're gonna relax your body and you're gonna imagine that all of your energy or your chi is sinking into your tummy, into your, into your lower dantian or your energy uh, area inside your stomach, yeah? So relax, you need to really relax. Okay, so let's take three deep breaths together. So breathe in. Hold your breath. And breathe out. Good. Okay, and again, breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Breathe out through your mouth. And one more time. So you're gonna breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, good. And then what I want you to do <clears throat> is then put your hand on your stomach and the other hand over the top. So the two points of your palm are together. And then just resting below your belly button. I'm just gonna close your eyes and just see if you can feel inside your body. So if you feel any heat, or any sensation, just imagine it going to one point inside your stomach. And you just stay here for a few seconds, just relax. Try to calm down your mind. Okay, okay, very good. Open your eyes and just relax your hands, the side of your body. <clears throat> okay, good. So, well done everyone. I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial today for our learning our Square Basic 7. So, next time when you see me, we're gonna be doing our last Square Basic. Um, and so just keep practicing the ones that you've learned so far. Um, and then I look forward to teaching you again next time. Okay, thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Shaka, class finish. Hop.